Grade 8 Math, number 8.5b, Solving Special Systems, Solve Algebraically with Substitution. I'm going to show you something new in this one. Just remember, like we said in the last video, special systems are systems of equations that have no solution or an infinite amount of solutions. They can be inconsistent or the equations are dependent. And we're going to use the same methods of graphing, substitution, or elimination. Okay? And the three things I want you to remember are intersecting lines have one solution at the point of intersection where they cross, okay? Right where they cross, that's the ordered pair, that's our solution. Parallel lines have no solution because they don't cross. And the same lines, lines that are on top of each other, make an infinite number of true solutions, okay? Because it's where are the lines touching each other? Well, when they're the same lines laying on top of each other, they're touching each other from head to foot, aren't they? All the way infinitely. So here's our system of equations here. And we're going to use substitution to solve this. So the first thing we're going to do is take the first equation and solve for x. And that means get x by itself on one side of the equal sign. So we've got x minus y equals negative 2. See? So we're going to add y to each side. And that's going to get rid of this y here and put it on this side of the equal sign with the negative 2. Now we have x equals y minus 2. Now we know what x equals. It equals y minus 2. So now we're going to substitute y minus 2 for the x in the second equation, that negative x plus y equals 4. So here's the negative x. It's the y minus 2. Okay, so we have a negative 1. And if you've seen the video, grade 7 math, number 6.2b, and learned about the invisible 1, you understand why I put the 1 here. When you see a variable all by itself, there's actually an invisible 1 in front of it. And when you see a negative sign with parentheses, there's an invisible 1 here, okay? So what we need to do is distribute this invisible 1 and then simplify. So negative 1 times y is negative y. It's negative 1y. Remember, invisible 1 still there. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So now we've got negative y plus 2, and we drop down the plus y and the 4, and that's our new equation. Now we can simplify it by combining the like terms. This negative y and this positive y cancel each other out, don't they? Now we've got 2 equals 4. See? If you're really confused, I advise you to go back and watch in the playlist for grade 7 math number 6.2b, okay? Because we're going to use this invisible guy a lot. So now we can rewrite the equations. Well, first of all, it was a false statement. It came out that 2 equals 4. See? We got 2 equals 4, and that can't be true, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try graphing them. So we write them in slope-intercept form to graph them. We got x minus y equals negative 2. x minus y equals negative 2. We're going to subtract x from each side, and that's going to get rid of this x and put the y in front, so it's in slope-intercept form. So now we've got negative y equals negative x minus 2, and we've got all these negatives. We've got three terms with negatives. Well, what we can do is divide by negative 1 and remove all the negative signs. Because remember, when you, divide, when you divide a negative by a negative, it makes a positive? It's a lot easier to work with. So remember, there's our invisible 1 here. So we can divide by negative 1. Negative 1 y divided by negative 1 is just a positive y. Negative x divided by negative 1 is a positive x. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is a positive 2. Now we can graph this. It hits our y-intercept, the blue line. It's in a blue box, see? Our blue line is going to hit at 2, and that's right there. And because there's nothing here, we know there's an invisible 1 in front of the x. That means our slope is a 1. Our rise over our run is 1 over 1. So we're going to go, it's positive, so we're going to go rise to the right. So we're going to go up 1 and over 1, and that puts our blue points right here and right here. Okay? Now we've got our second equation, negative x plus y equals 4. So we're going to add x to each side, and that'll get rid of this guy and put the y in front in slope-intercept form. Now we've got y equals a positive x plus 4, because that's a positive 4. Okay, so now we can graph this. 
and we got a positive 4 for our y-intercept, that 4, and our slope is our negative 1 again, that 1 over 1. 1 is the rise, 1 is the run. It puts us right here, up 1 and over 1. So now we've got our points for the pink line and our points for the blue line, and when we draw the lines through them, we have parallel lines. Well, 2 can't equal 4, and the lines are parallel and they don't intersect, so there's no solution. Well, we knew that, didn't we? We knew 2 can't equal 4. Now, what if we used elimination and addition? We'd get 0 and 2, and we'd still have no solution. Our solution set is 0. See? So we could have used elimination and added, and we still would have gotten 0 equals 2, which wouldn't make sense. Now, it's very important you watch the next video, because we're going to do this. We're going to solve it algebraically with elimination, okay? So we're going to be solving a special system of equations algebraically with elimination, okay? I'll see you there. Bye.